Hello everybody and welcome back to another video and today we're going to be doing a cadet video but before we get into that video I'd like to start by saying um, like comment and subscribe and please um, let me know if you're a cadet in the comment section or let me know if you have a friend and please um, tell your friends about cadets and if you have any friends that are in cadets show them this video because it might give you some tips and I'm gonna be doing a little bit of a series um, which I'll talk more about at the end of this video um, so right now we're going to get into um, what cadets is, cadet, cadets is about. Um, cadets is basically lower than the, the Navy and the Army and the military. We don't even count, like our ranks don't count in, in this, obviously. Um, but um, time served as cadets will count as time served in the military. So that's, that's kind of cool. Um, the military, the, the Navy, Army, Air Force. That's what I mean by military. Um, so I'm just going to start with um, uniforms and move from uniforms to awards to camp applications and then I'll talk a little bit more about cadets that, from my knowledge and just say uh, thank you to all my POs and stuff that I had this year. So cadets is over um, for the this year. It was over in May. So we had our ACR, which is the annual cadet review, which is at the end of the year, and you get a bunch of awards, and it's a big, it's a big thing. Parents come, a bunch of famous people, like famous military people, come. Not really, but they're just they're really high up in the ranks. Um, but and it starts in September, so it's from September, so basically the beginning of the school year, to almost the end of the school year. School year ends in June, so I'm out of school right now, so that's kind of great. Um, so let's get into our uniforms. So my first uniform is my, you have two. My first uniform is my C1s. Um, so this is um, what your C1s consist of. It's a black tunic with a uh, white um, lanyard. So your lanyard goes up to your second button right here. So it, it's tightened and then goes to here. Um, on your uniform, on this tunic, you have your rank, which is I'm a master seaman. I got promoted at the end of the year. You have your badges, so I have my cancel level 1, my um, fitness level 1, marksmanship level 2, and um, this is my first aid badge. So basically you can get these badges, um, these three you can get um, in cadets. This one I had to take a course for, and I have my certificate on my wall. And then this is a camp badge, um, this is my GT or general training badge. And then these two badges are repeated on this side, and it's just your core crest, and it just says that, or just your core uh, badge that says Magnificent on it, and Royal Canadian Sea Cadets. So, um, and also on this badge, it comes with um, your name tag and your core crest, as I said. And um, this is the 100th year cadet pin. So that's kind of cool. It's an anchor with a white top on it, which I'll explain here. This is a white top. Um, I actually got this medal at the end of the year at the ACR. So this is the Royal Canadian Legion Cadet Medal. Um, Legion of Excellence Medal. So that's kind of cool. Um, I have that. Um, so you also wear your black pants with it, which has a crease down the middle. They are folded and hang, hang on a hanger the way they should be. Um, like that so that the crease doesn't get messed up. Um, that's basically for your black tunic, but underneath your black tunic, you're going to have your white gun shirt. So usually like the army or the, uh, army cadets and air cadets, they have a tie. We don't have ties. We have gun shirts. So a gun shirt has a crease down the middle, um, or slightly down the middle. Mine's a little crooked, um, as you can see. Um, but this, I have two gun shirts actually. Um, this gun shirt has been used, so it's kind of wrinkly and I need to iron it before I go to camp. And I'll talk more about camps. You also get issued a pair of boots. I have two pairs. This pair I actually bought myself. And these are your these are your um, wool socks that you get and you wear them in your boots, obviously. And this is your white top and it has your cap tally, which is this. It says RCSCC Magnificent or Royal Canadian Sea Cadet Corps Magnificent. Um, it's cap tally tied with a bow on this end. And it's cap tally and it's white, so that's kind of... Or, no, that's a white top. That's a cap tally, sorry. Um, this is your, this is moving on to your second uniform. This is your STUs, um, your blue uniform. Um, you have your name tag, which my name tag is obviously McDonald Miles. And your epaulets on each side, which is Master Seaman, which is one anchor and two chevrons. And it has the cadet because you're not in the military. 
Um, you do iron this down the middle. You do not iron this. You iron this and your black pants. These also come with black pants. Um, I have two pairs, but I asked for two pairs. And um, you also have a pair of work boots, which you don't really need to shine, but they should be shiny a bit. Um, but obviously those are your parade boots, so they need to be shined um, pretty good. So that's your uniform part of cadets, which is kind of fun. I mean, it's kind of cool to kind of dress up. You also wear a hat with this. Um, it says RCSCC Magnificent, 24 Magnificent. That's um, our number. So I'm going to be moving on to um, awards that you can get in cadets. Um, so this one is, we. these are just silly cadets. Um, Silly, silly awards that I got at the end of the year. Um, my friends made them. So it's Sarah McDonald Miles, Strive for Perfection, and then M. Zavala, which is my friend. Um, we only use last names, so Zavala is his last name, and obviously my last name is McDonald Miles. Um, and this one he also made, but they didn't let me have it, but he gave it to me anyways, is um, Sarah McDonald Miles, um, most likely to become the next PO1 Zavala, also signed by him. Um, so these are just kind of fun awards that I got from my core, just from my friends or whatever. And these ones I got at the um, ACR, or the Annual Cadet Review Ceremony. Um, um, this is the Junior Proficiency Award, LS McDonald Miles. I'm obviously not an LS anymore, which is leading seaman. Um, and uh, this is the award that I got for that. And obviously, if you're not in my core, you'd get a different one if you got this award. And uh, this one is the top phase two cadet, and LS McDonald Miles. Obviously, I'm not an Alice anymore, which is a leading human. And um, I got these two awards at the end of the year this year. Now, camp. Camp is probably um, the best thing that has is pretty good. So um, this is uh, the same certificate um, looking thing as this one over here, um, but this one is says general training. Uh, C at HMC's Acadia, and was signed by the commanding officer, which is um, Mr. Newsom. I'm not quite sure his rank. Um, and then it has my name, and then it says RCSCC 24, which is the number that we RCSCC 24 Magnificent. Um, and then this is like this is the C. This is the C cadets, Army cadets, Air cadets. And that's a three, a tri service or whatever. Um, so that's my certificate that I got. And right here is Athabascan Division, Cadet Training Center 2017, HMCS uh, Acadia Cornwallis Park, Nova Scotia. Um, that's kind of fun. This was my, um, sorry guys if it's hard to see. This was my division um, for camp for GT, which is general training. Um, this is the sea cadets, and then that's like the little emblem. That's their um, core crest. And those, these are all my. I know them. I don't really, I don't really remember all of them, but I know some of them. And then there's me right there. Um, and these were the POs that I had at camp, so that's kind of fun. And at camp, you, I was given a shirt. Um, it's kind of hard to show you, but it says it has a bunch of names on it that my friends signed. So like, um, you guys can kind of see them. Um, there, and that's fun. So I got that for camp, and we at the end of camp we signed. We got my, I got my friends to sign them, so that's kind of fun. And um, also another fun thing that you get at, ca at cadets is you get a shirt. You can get a t-shirt. I don't know some cores give out sweaters. We have t-shirts. I have like two of these, um, which is kind of fun. And uh, I just want to show you this. This is the um, dinner pin. I think I'm not quite sure what this pin is for. I just got it like not too long ago, so I'm not quite sure what it's for. So if anyone knows what how to what when to wear them and what when to wear them um please comment it down below so i would know that would help uh that would be great, greatly appreciated um so i'm just going to kind of talk about cadets a little bit more and uh, i'm going to pull up a chair here um so i was in cadets i've been in cadets for two years now with rcscc magnificent and um my friends um this year have some of my friends have aged out so they're 18, or they're going to be 18, or they're going to be 19, um, and they're um, aging out like Mike Coxon, uh, Chief Landry, Chief Stolk, Chief Van Dyne, and Chief Good. So I'd like to say thank you guys for being such such great chiefs. Like you guys are so good. 
Um, you guys basically shaped this core, um, even though I was only in it for like two years. Um, you guys really made a difference in my cadet experience. So I hope that I can make a big difference in the core when I get higher in the ranks as well. Um, so I'd like to say thank you to them and all of the officers. That's they're they're really nice. They're good. They're good good people. Um, but cadets is not about yelling and screaming, and um, it's they don't get mad at you. Yes, obviously they're gonna get mad at you if they're if you're misbehaving. It's not they're not there to babysit you. They're there to teach you. Um, they're not there to look after you as if they were your babysitter, like I said. They're there to teach you skills about whatever um, skill set you are in. So it teaches you self-confidence. I, From my two years, at the beginning of my cadet year, I barely talked to anyone. At the end of this year, I, I've, I've made more friends than I have in school. That's, that's not, that's just, yeah. Um, I have a lot of friends and cadets, and I do at school as well, but, like, it just helped my experience in, in school and in cadets to learn these skills, right? I just want to let you know, guys, I'm wearing the um, 40th annual tattoo um, shirt, Royal Nova Scotia International Tattoo. So that's going on right now, and I'm working in it, so that's kind of cool. Um, so if you guys want to come see me for Canada Day, which is tomorrow... And the next day, I don't think I'm working Monday. No, I'm not. And never mind. You can guys see me, see me tomorrow. I'm selling 50-50 tickets. Um, but um, cadets is just, it's not. They're, they're there to teach you. And you get to learn so many cool things. You get to learn how to sail. You get to do the Duke of Edinburgh program when you're old enough. Um, the Duke of Edinburgh program. So you obviously, if you know who the queen is, the queen's husband is the Duke of Edinburgh. Um, and he created this award so you can get the bronze, the silver, and the gold pin. Um, I'm probably going to try to get my bronze medal this year or my bronze pin this year. I would like to do that anyways. That would be pretty cool. Um, but you have so many opportunities to go to. You get to go to McNabb's Island when you sail. Sometimes you get to go to McNabb's um, Island. Um, sometimes you get to go to, um, you get to, go to like, um, uh, sailing on the blue nose like that's that's so cool like the blue nose is crazy the blue nose too if you've never been on it like they don't allow that many people to go on it which is crazy so like we had a, a chance to go to that and you just have so many opportunities with cadets that you um excuse me that you wouldn't um usually get as a regular person um, you're obviously going to learn a lot of new terms. I mean, when I first joined my first night, I was like, what are all these terms? People were like yelling because it's, they have to yell to, it's not that they're mad at you. It's they're yelling to, um, they're yelling to, um, so that everyone can hear them. Um, at the moment we parade in, um, a school, which is unfortunate because our building was destroyed in the last, um, in the winter, so that's kind of that kind of sucks. Well, during winter break, our building was destroyed, so we can't go there anymore. If you guys can hear popping in the background, since it is like almost Canada Day, people are like going crazy with the fireworks. So um, sorry about that. Um, but yeah, like cadets, you have so many opportunities. Um, like I mentioned, like you get to do the tattoo, like. Like, not many people, we get to go in for free. We get to go around backstage and see all the cool people and meet 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 the people who, meet the creators behind the tattoo. Or we get to go on cool ships. Like, um, we got to go on um, the Blue Nose, too, like I said. Um, since we are sea cadets, we do go sailing. Um, so we do two sail weekends, which is kind of cool. Um... What else can I tell you guys about? That's there's so much stuff that I can tell you. I could probably go on for hours, um, but I don't want to go on for hours. I just want to have a short little video, but it's already like 14 minutes. Ah, so cadets is a big part of my life, and it's the first actual organization or thing I've worked with. Like I've never done any sports and oh sports, and you just you get to do all you get to do sports and fitness. Um, there's different camps, like I'm going to camp for drill and ceremonial, so you can join the drill team, you can join the band, you can do band camps, you can do a bunch of different camps for different things. You can go sailing as a camp, sail camp, I actually signed up for sail camp, but I didn't get it this year, which is okay because I still got a camp, so camp is fun. 
Um, there's all types of things you can do in cadets. So cadets is not like the boring thing where people are yelling at you and you're not going to do anything fun. Cadets is just, you got, you have to give it a chance. Your first night might not be the greatest, but my first night, I enjoyed it so much that I kept going, and I'm still going to keep going until I age out of cadets, and I'll probably help with cadets when I'm older. So, like, cadets is a big part of my life, and I just wanted to, you guys, I just wanted to educate you guys on cadets, um, which is, I've done cadet videos before, so, um, now I'm going to talk about, um, the, I'm going to talk about, um, what, the series that I said at the beginning, um, I'm st hopefully going to be starting a series of cadet videos, so it's going to help um, any cadets out there or any new cadets that are joining cadets. How to iron, what to do for boot polishing, um, hacks and tricks with your white top, um, uniform, boots, and stuff like that. But obviously, I want you guys to experiment on your own, but don't do anything like don't hairspray your boots Please don't do that. That ruins your boots. It might make your boots look super shiny the first, like, two times, but it ruins your boots. Don't ever do that. So make sure you're basic. You're definitely getting second opinions and third opinions and basically getting opinions from everyone and seeing what they're doing as well because you don't want to try something and ruin your boots. Like, I'm always scared to try something new on my boots, and then my friends are like, oh, yeah, it's perfectly fine, and then I look down at their boots, and their boots are perfectly shiny. So then I try that for myself, and it just works out perfectly. So, um, obviously, don't try anything that you don't feel comfortable with, with hacks and stuff. But I'm definitely going to hopefully try to teach you how to um, iron your gun shirt, um, stuff like that. Like, that's just so important with cadets. So, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you, sh I'm going to say it again, smash the like button. I know that sounds, just do it, just smash the like button, smash the like button, comment down below, and make sure you subscribe um, for more videos like this, and um, if you're a cadet, share this video to all your cadet friends, and um, if you're not a cadet, hopefully maybe you'll join cadets, um, this is the Nova Scotia area, so there's lots of cadets in Nova Scotia, so if you want to do some research, um, that's pretty fun to do. Um, Another um, thing is um, share this video. If you have any cadet friends and they haven't seen this, please share this with them. Um, and cadets, share your course. Show this to people. Like This is so important. I feel like cadets, sh everyone should join cadets at least once. It shows people discipline. So um, that's enough from me. I hope you guys enjoy this video so much. Thanks for watching. See ya.